how to use EQ in GarageBand and what is EQ? Should you be using EQ with your songs and your tracks? Um, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, specifically with GarageBand. And this is just a snippet of um, tutorial that I've taken from a bigger GarageBand course that I have. I'll leave that link in the description as well. It's like, it is, I think, almost two hours long. It's fully free and um, kind of a start to finish course on everything you need to know for the super beginner of garage bands but that's why i just took this out if you're just looking for um to to know the popular question how to use eq with garage band i'll get into that right now and we can cut or increase or decrease different frequencies within your track so let's do this um as an example to walk through so we have let's solo our vocal track and you can see what I mean here. Let's make, let's just take out, uh, uh, take out all these shapes that we've kind of have by default. I'm just gonna unclick these at the top. So we're gonna have an empty, an empty EQ pan. If we take our vocal track here and I click on analyzer, that's gonna show me where the audio signal is actually happening in real time with my voice. So you'll be able to see what that looks like. So this is all the signal here. So you can see there's lots of low end. And then the, the bulk is happening around here. So typically in a vocal, um, you want to take out some of the low end. So I can click on this low end band here and I can drag this across. And anything that's like the red stuff here, that means whatever is in this shape won't be heard. So if I play my voice, if I play the track now, you won't hear anything other than what comes out in this section, and that won't be much at all. It will sound very thin, for example. I'm not sure if you can even hear that. That's a better example. You can hear that. So that's a drastic example of, a, of what an EQ would do. And you would never want to do that with a vocal, probably not. But you might do it at around a 100, where you really don't need this space. Or even here. It's nice to cut out that in certain tracks because it's not necessary that you have that um, signal coming into your mix. And we create these shapes to decrease frequencies. Like we want to cut out all the frequencies here or we want to increase them. And we want the frequencies around 500 and 100 to really um, be be pushed up. And so you'll see what I mean if I, if I increase it around one, 1K, it will push those frequencies up in my voice. Da, 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 da. See, da, 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 da. it sounds a bit more thin in that area because we're doing a drastic increase. But when you're doing increases in areas, you might only want to bump it up, like um, a gain of maybe two or three, depending on really what you want to go but you can see here um, see a gain of four plus that means at 1000 Hertz I'm bumping it up for now and now I'm bumping it up 12 DB more so I can go up to my bass or sorry my drums here and solo this and I'll also have a different EQ it will be completely different and see if I go back to my vocal here come on I'll have my vocal EQ, there it is, and my Liverpool bass will have its own EQ. So in a bass, a lot of the time you don't want some of the high end, so we can, come on, drag that in there. Oh, come on. There it is, we can drag some of the high end. We don't want really this high end, we just want the low end here. See the bass is very, pretty much all here. So we can cut that high end out. We just don't need it 
in there. And the Dream synth pad will also have its own EQ. You can see frequencies really happen around. And since we have a bass guitar, we can cut some of those low ends because we don't need them because we're covering with the bass. And that's night. Maybe we want some, maybe we want the synth to be really airy. We can bump it up some of those frequencies by doing a bump like that. And that can create some more air space with the synth. EQ is really about training your ear to what what you have to hear in order to what in what to increase or decrease. So it is more of an experience thing when it comes to EQ to notice what you should be cutting out, increasing or decreasing.